we haven't even said the title of the movie and so probably people are listening going what movie is this because it sounds awesome <laughs> it is I, me, yeah to you. to circle back to around to the intro it's me you madness it's almost kind of like a question you guys define it in one of the scenes actually you 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 look him in the face you go me you madness like are you yeah. kidding are you crazy like are you crazy <laughs> me and you that's yeah, mad. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a terrible title because um, everyone seems to remember it as you, me, madness. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's me, you, madness. And they're like, what difference does it make? I'm like, well, how are you going to find it if you don't get the title right? right? So speaking of right. finding it, if you want to watch it, it's streaming on Peacock. It's also um, available on um, iTunes Amazon. and Amazon. And you can yeah. go to memadness.com to watch the trailer if you're slightly enticed by all the nudity, yeah. violence, and um spider eating and aston martins and all the other juicy stuff that's in this <laughs> yeah you definitely plugged all the good stuff people want to watch so yeah you've got you've got drugs you got sex you got fast cars fast woman fast dude you know but uh beautiful the, locations beautiful locations what was that that house that very it just looks it looks like a it almost looks like this con concrete freight train sitting on a on a hill it's very modern and and sleek and long and slender like it's pretty cool I, I had seen it in a movie years and years ago, and I spent weeks searching online trying to find the film. Mm -hmm. And I finally found it, and then I finally figured out where the location was. But um, it's it's a gore, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful property. Um, so day seven of filming, we were about to film the scene with uh, uh, Shuya Chang, who plays Yu Yang, and um, the dinner sequence and. The the fire department rolled up and said, you need to evacuate. And so I was like, oh my God, I've what, uh, uh, evacuate. We're in the middle of filming a movie. So we didn't yeah. go back. For, we couldn't go back for four months. It was the Wolsey fires. So everyone in that neighborhood got evacuated. And um, wow. we didn't, we didn't know if our set had burned down um, for six weeks. I learned a big lesson as a producer about getting enough um, force majeure uh insurance because you never imagine there's going to be like a zombie ap apocalypse or you know tsunami or fires but there it was and um we had to ev evacuate so quickly that we actually left um several very very expensive um camera lenses and dollies and other equipment on the property because the fire department wanted us out immediately and so we had to obviously pay to rent all, the, all of that equipment for the six weeks that we couldn't retrieve it um, and it was really devastating, actually. It was it was very heartbreaking because, you know, f forget the movie. It was when we went back, um, pretty much every single house in the neighborhood had burnt down except for this one architectural house that we were filming at because mm. they had such minimalist um, uh, landscaping. So there wasn't really a lot to go on fire. And because the building was made of steel, concrete and glass, yeah. it didn't catch on fire from the embers. There was actually some significant fire damage. And, um, you know, it, 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 oh, it's such a bummer. I don't want to bum out your audience, but anyway, it was, it was, it was a tragedy for that for, and especially for the animals. That's yeah. another thing. Like, how can we travel to the moon, invent iPhones, you know, cure cancer and everything else, but yet we can't get a handle on fires. Someone out there needs to invent something really brilliant to put mm -hmm. these California fire, fi the, these fires out because it's just insane every year. And, with global warming, it just gets worse and worse. Yeah, it's unfortunate. The culprit of California fire is usually just some idiot who went and, you know, sometimes... Threw a cigarette out a window. Yeah, or they do it on purpose. I mean, I remember the years that I lived in San Diego, the one that burned down Scripps Ranch. It, you find out later that, you know, they 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 did it on purpose when there was a no fire warning and they just... they That's had no idea. Yeah, they had no idea what it was going to turn into, but they... That's so insane. Actually, on, on this topic of these wildfires, what I'm trying to do at the moment is put together a coalition of people who can um, acti activate uh, to rescue animals. So, you know, a lot of um, a lot of there's a lot of horse ranches in all of these areas that, that end up burning down. And it's always an emergency trying to get the horses out and other farm animals and so on and so forth. So I'm trying to put together a coalition of people who care about animals and have trucks and can mobilize um you know almost like a, a almost like you know an, an action network of people who can help in the event of fires but 
Yeah, that's cool. I think that's a great cause because, yeah, they they have no place to go. We've built a lot of areas out and forced them in further away from the coastline. And then when the, then when it, they're caught between concrete and fires, you know, fires. is really what it boils down to. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sad. Actress versus director. You pick director. You So you rather be directing? You rather be kind of behind the camera or? I really enjoy it. And I think I'm a bit of a control freak. So it's super, it's super fun being able to be the boss on set and control everything. And, um, I, um, I just, I, I enjoy, I enjoy it and I enjoy the homework of it. I enjoy storyboarding. I, I enjoy learning about all the lenses and the cameras and that's sort of my, my big to do in 2022 is to actually understand um, more about cinematography and more about lenses and why I want to pick a certain lens. It's hmm. just, um, it's cool. I like it. It's, it's a, yeah, I really enjoy it. I, I, it, I, it looks like I'm going to be directing another movie in June, which is an action movie. Um, you know, I love Tarantino. I love Michael Bay. I like the way they shoot their films. And um, so I'm really drawn to action and I love violence. I think it's fun. Um, it's fun to direct and it's, it's complicated to direct and it's, um, yeah. 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 Well, it's obvious you like violence. I mean, we're going to obviously dig into that too. You basically, you formed your own company. How many movies have you done now? Is this one, two? Um, let's see. Um, I, my first movie was, was Intruder. Intruder. Uh, Yeah. Intruder. That was another sort of like dark, dark film. I've seen that one. Yep. I'm all about (laughs) those. I Um, saw saw that one a while back. Um, um, Six Below, Miracle on the Mountain, we executive produced. Um, the Midnight Man, we executive produced. I just executive produced a movie that's coming out next year called um, Escape the Field. Um, it's hard sort of to remember without having my uh, bio in front of me. Um, yeah, no, that's but, cool. Um, no, we've been involved in, in lots of movies. Um, I'm another movie that's coming out soon called Serial Dangerous Anonymous and um, Me Madness. And um, I'm currently working on... Um, developing a movie that is a bit like a female revenant. Um, And I'm also developing two TV shows at the moment. I'm kind of trying to pivot towards television because I think that's sort of where it's at at the moment. Um, As all of your listeners will agree, who are inevitably addicted to Netflix like the rest of us. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or the, the other, you know, dozen plus platforms you have to have a subscription to that all create their own great content. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know you, you, it's impossible to keep up. It's just crazy. Right. I, there's so many, there's so much good television out there. Um, I feel like the movie business is sort of getting swallowed, swallowed alive. Yeah. And you got the big guy, Amazon and these other folks rolling in, just steamrolling what like, like Apple, Apple was, should have, you know, like when you think of like, I always go back to the Apple piece, right? They were the, you right. know, you, ha- you were able to download a movie or whatever before you went on a trip and then you could watch it. Right. Right. And they had the opportunity, the first mover in the market to build their own original content for literally years. And then they, now they're playing, I think now they're playing catch up. Right. I mean, but oh, they're, yeah. but they're doing it. I mean, if you think about the fact that Apple can, um, or Netflix is producing, I think around 60 movies in the next year and Warner brothers is making more like 20. It's, it's just insane the way that the business is shuffling. And that's something, yeah. something so interesting about, um, how exponential the, 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 the changes in this business, it, you, you can't even keep up with it. Um, crazy. So yeah, it's, it's wild, but, uh, really a ton of talent out there um i know that showrunners are like a very hard thing to come by these days because if you're a showrunner you are in demand and and for for me and the listeners as well showrunner what what is their i hear that term a lot but what are they what is their main job a showrunner is basically the person who runs the entire operation sometimes they'll direct the pilot episode they might direct several of the episodes they might not um they are the person that is the engine behind the TV show. And um, they're like the captain of the ship. They steer where it's going and um, they're responsible for, for the entire production. You're listening to Can You Survive This Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe, rate, and share on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows. 